What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics and up next got an unboxing with two pretty awesome packages here, four comics in total, including one pretty big Silver Age key that I think has really started to get into that range where you want to be watching it. So stay tuned. <music> So before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So I've just got two boxes here. One of them, this one here has three. This one has three books in it. This one has one book in it. And one of the books in here, the one with the, the one book is one that I think you really should be keeping an eye on now. It's a pretty big Silver Age key. And I think there have been a lot of good opportunities with that book recently. The other one, and I'm going to open that one first, uh, is this here. Uh, like I said, three books. Originally, I had purchased four books from them. Uh, I know some of the people that watch the channel were also watching their, their live sale on... Uh, it was when they were on Elite Comics 11. And uh, sometimes I, what I like to do is, is when, they're, when they're having their, their live sale, they'll have the book up and then... Uh, after I purchased it, I went and just wanted to see pictures of it, and I was checking it out on their page because sometimes they also have it up on their, their sales page. And I, just, I noticed something interesting about that book that resulted in me uh, ultimately reaching out and asking a few more questions and, and canceling one of the books. So I only ended up picking up, uh, let's see, three books instead of four. So let's see here. So... Everything is, you know, it's always packaged really well, really securely. You know, nothing's moving around <laughs> inside that box. And the, the books that I did end up with, I mean, I'm disappointed I didn't get the fourth, I didn't end up getting the fourth book. I just, it didn't, based on what I saw, I, I didn't think it was worth uh, picking up. And these are all Golden Age books. I actually own copies of two of them already that are graded that are are both higher grade copies. Uh, there's always a lot of tape on these, so I'm gonna fast forward through this real quick while I, while I cut through this. All right, okay, so I was reminded, one of them is not a Golden Age book. <laughs> one of them is a Silver Age book. It's two Golden Age books, one Silver Age. It originally was three Golden Age, one Silver Age. Uh, I'll start with the Silver Age book. Uh, the Silver Age is Flash number 110, which is the first appearance of Kid Flash. I have never owned a copy of this book before. I've always thought it's a pretty cool cover. I think it's also the first appearance of the Weather Wizard. Um, but if I remember correctly, it was a relatively decent graded copy. I think probably, I think they graded around a five. We'll, we'll see how it, how it turns out after I take a look at it. I mean, you can see it's got this stain right here but it's pretty light and otherwise it's a pretty nice copy. There's definitely some spine wear on here, but it looks attachable staples and everything. There's no big pieces missing on the front. Again, remember you always wanna check the back as well, but nice colors, you know, decent presenting copy. And this is a pretty pricey book now. This has gotten to be, I mean, just even its base value, even for lower grade books are, are pretty pretty steep. I think I, some people have asked, you know, if I can mention some prices that I paid for things. Uh, I don't always talk about prices because a lot of times I'm selling the books. And so it just, it's just counterintuitive <laughs> to talk about what you pay when you're then selling the books. Uh, but this one, I will probably end up getting graded. I paid, I think, $865 for, for this book. So not a cheap book, but actually the cheapest book of the three that are in here. I think the cheapest book of, yeah, of all four books that are in this unboxing. So, but $865 for first appearance of Kid Flash, first uh, Weather Wizard, but Kid Flash is definitely the, the important thing with, with that one. Now, the next one is a book that I recently picked up a pretty nice copy of. Uh, so this one is Strange Worlds number four, and this is a classic Wally Wood cover. This is just one of I mean, it's one of his best covers, in my opinion, from the Golden Age. I love this cover. You've got the kind of like the good girl art cover, but she's also, I always get the impression that she's like a villain and this guy is coming in to, to stop her from launching these people in the pods off there into, into space, but just incredible cover. And so I actually brought my other copy here. So here's my other copy. And this is a 6.5, which is an extremely 
high grade copy for this book. And you can see colors are maybe a little bit brighter on, on this one, but this is definitely a lower grade, uh, a lower grade copy. So 6.5, a little cleaner, not quite as bright of colors, um, but, but this one here, um, you can see it's got, it's got quite a bit of spine wear. I mean, that, that staple looks like it's holding on for, for dear life. <laughs> so I'll definitely have to take a look at that. Just want to make sure it's still attached and everything, but, um, but still a, a very nice presenting copy. It's definitely got wear on the edges, on the spine. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the, the central image is nice. No big creases or anything, which is always a big positive when, you know, cause a lot of times for the golden age, you, you really, the main thing is the cover art. And so if you can have really nice presenting covers that don't have a lot of damage there, the damage is focused on the outside, then that's a, a big plus. So strange worlds, number four, that one, I think I paid about 1100 for. So again, uh, they, they just keep getting a little more expensive with each one. So now the last one here, uh, this is the most expensive book of the entire unboxing, including the other one I haven't opened yet. And this one, I have a, a copy that I really, really like of this book. Uh, this one, again, the damage on this one is largely on the spine. This is Batman number 42. This is the first appearance of Catwoman on the cover of the Batman title. Her first appearance is Batman number one. Her first cover appearance is Detective Comics 122, which is another book I do have. It's like a yellow cover where she's swiping at Robin. But this is the first time she's on the cover of the Batman title. I really like this cover. It's got the red, the red cover, which always looks really nice, which always pops. Uh, there's a, you know, there's, again, there's a stain in the middle there. The main issue is this spine split up at the top. So I'd say that's like one and a quarter to one and a half inches. There's definitely wear along the spine as well, but it does look attached at both staples. And in the center, again, it is a, it's a nice presenting copy. No real big issues there or anything like that with, uh, with creasing, you know, big creases or anything. So it's a, it is again, a nice presenting copy. First cover appearance of Catwoman in the Batman title. So. Uh, just a really cool book so so yeah and in th this box some pretty awesome books you know strange worlds number four which you just don't see this book come up very often just an incredible book and then uh flash number 110 first kid flash and then batman number 42 first catwoman cover uh, in the batman title now the one that i was uh, going to talk about was a planet comics number 12. so the issue that that there was with that one was it had been a book, and I have a lot of people, you know, you get these comments where people are like, well, why do you want to slab a book? You can't read it, all this kind of stuff. Well, I'll tell you what happened with this Planet Comics number 12. So they had it, and it had a CGC label that was a 5.5. And so they were selling it as a 5.5. And so, because it had been cracked out. And I went and checked their site, and the site said that it had, it looked real nice, has three and a half inches of spine splits. You can't get a 5.5. <laughs> three and a half inches of spine splits. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. And, uh, and so I reached out and I asked for pictures. Then when I got pictures, it actually had more like five to five and a half inches of spine splits. So with that, that book is like a two, maybe a two five. And so at that point it wasn't really worth it to me. Um, and, uh, so that was, that's the thing. So, you know, this person that they had bought it from, they, they said, you know, like, I don't like books in slabs. So they would always crack them out of the slabs, but clearly after they cracked it out, they flipped through it or whatever and damaged it more, you know? And so that's one of those things that, that can happen where you can't necessarily just trust the label. If somebody's cracked out a book, you know, they'll put the label usually in the back of the, the bag or whatever to kind of show like, oh, this is what the grade was. But anything could have happened between the time that they cracked that out and now. And with that book, clearly it had significantly more damage under the spine. And, you know, and I'm, I'm that's one of those things that's really upsetting because a 5.5 for Planet Comics number 12 is one of the higher grade copies in existence, or it used to be. It's not anymore because that book is now a two, maybe a two five with the, that amount of spine splitting. If it's lucky enough to even retain that, if after CGC, if they try to grade it and they split it more, it, you know, and so that's why sometimes with Golden Age books, it is old paper. It's 80 year old paper. You know, you don't need to flip through and read it. You know, just appreciate it for what it is. And, you know, that's that's kind of the way that I, I like to look at it. Um, but, oh yeah, with that uh, Batman 42, 
so I had this one here. Uh, this is my other copy. So I have a 5.0 white pages copy, CBCS. But just uh, this one is a really beautiful copy. It's just got it's got some creases that are on the cover, especially on the back. Um, but uh, as you can see, it's got a crease up here, and then one if it's coming through or not. But there's one uh, right down here. But pretty light, but they uh, they are on the book. I have really been considering sending this one in to see if I can maybe get it to like a five five or something like that. But but yeah, I always, I mean, I love having this book. It's such a, such a cool cover. Um, but yeah, so I just, I wanted to point that out for why, you know, when I have a book that's a golden age book that's slabbed, you know, I don't really want to handle it. You know, I, I don't want to handle these books more than is absolutely necessary because it is old paper, anything can happen to it. And then once you're handling it, uh, you know, it can get more damage. Now, that's again, why just, if you do, if somebody is selling a book that uh, has a label with it, you can't just take that label as the grade. You have to grade the book on its own. It may very well be that the grade is what the label says. So I had another book I picked up, which was a, what was it, Contact Comics. I can't remember which issue it was, nine or, or something like that. And it had a label with it. And I would, and it looked exactly like what it should have been. You know, so that one wasn't a surprise at all. It wasn't any issue, but it's not always the case. And so you do really need to, to grade the books individually. Um, but okay, so now this one here, uh, this is a book that I picked up from, uh, from Flip Mode Comics. I've talked about them on a few different occasions and this is the one that I think you really, you, you want to be on the lookout for right now. Um, I, let's see here. Uh, this one has a detached centerfold, but it still looked like it presented pretty well. It's always tough to tell, you know, on video and everything like that, but I still felt like it looked like it presented pretty well. Uh, I think they graded it as a 3.0, maybe 3.35, and I think that that Seeing it in person here, even with the detached centerfold, I think that seems pretty reasonable. I'll definitely have to take a look at it, make sure everything, you know, is complete and all that. But this is Avengers number four. So this is the first Silver Age appearance of Captain America. An awesome cover. You know, you've got him right on the cover. The colors really pop on this one. Even though it has some tanning and that kind of stuff on the outside edges, colors still look really sharp on this one. Got the cool date stamp right in the middle there. Uh, there's a little staining up, uh, let's see, up at the top here, uh, but nothing that you wouldn't expect in, in this type of grade. Um, but overall, a, a very nice presenting copy. And now what I was talking about with this one is I picked up this book for uh, a little over 900. I think it was like $919. And so for me, any time that I can get a copy of this book that is presentable, under a thousand dollars, I think that is the time to buy that book. I mean, this is a big Silver Age key, and I think it's really been uh, you've been having some reduction in prices recently. And so I was going to talk about that for a bit. Like a 3.0 had peaked at two thousand dollars. It's currently going for around fourteen hundred. Three five peaked at two thousand eight hundred and fifty. Currently also going around fourteen hundred. Two o peaked at a little over fifteen hundred, going around a thousand right now. So a lot of these books have come down around 30 to 50% depending on the grade. Now the really high grades are retaining a little bit better, but still most have come down around 30 to 50%. And if you watched my, my video where I was talking about trends in these books, a lot of them are coming back down to that, like that trend line where if you had the price of this book over the you know, last like five to seven years, if you went like this and you had the, the comic boom, it was like this. And a lot of these grades are coming back down to this trend line. And so that's what I'm looking for with these. And I felt like this one was actually below that trend line. So it felt like a, a really reasonable price to me. Uh, so I ended up picking this one up, like I said, for a little over 900. Oh, and the uh, and the, the Batman, this was the most expensive book that I picked up. I think I paid 1350 for, for this one. Um, so, you know, for the people that were asking about some prices, you know, like I said, I'm not always gonna talk about pricing, but I am planning on getting I think I'm going to get all these graded. And so I, I don't mind talking about it quite as much because then once I get them graded, it kind of changes things up a little bit. Uh, so, so yeah, this one I'll definitely take a look at, but 
even with a detached centerfold, you can get some pretty reasonable grades. And so I think a 335 at least is very likely with this book based on the front cover. I'll take a look at the back cover, see how everything else looks, but I think this could possibly do better than that. I think, I think it could maybe get in the fours. So yeah, th this one I think is real reasonable. Uh, this one, I feel like I'm playing right on the line <laughs> you know, with this book in terms of value uh, and, uh, and what I paid, but still like Batman 42, a nice presenting copy. I mean, if I can get it around fair market value, I'm, I'm always gonna go for it. And then uh, Flash 110, I mean, DC Silver Age keys, they just, they tend to just trend up, you know, nice and steady long-term. So I thought this was a cool one to pick up. And then the last one here, Strange Worlds number four. I mean, like I said, not everybody gets to see covers like this. And I remember the first time I saw this cover, I was like, I know I want to get a copy of that book. And it's crazy that I have a couple of them now because I, I had been looking for one for probably a couple years now. And I had the opportunity to pick, uh, I talked about this one. I, I picked this one up on a Comic Connect auction that happened in the middle of the summer. That auction just, it felt like it was, not a lot of people were paying attention to that one at that time. And, and some books were really going cheap during that auction. And so I, I felt real lucky to be able to pick that one up and then just crazy to have a, a second one too. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope you you know got some ideas for some pretty cool golden age books you might wanna keep an eye out for. Uh, and then definitely, you know, this Avengers number four I mean, as prices come down in this book, I think it is one to pick up. They're talking about bringing Captain America back again for more uh, for, for more projects in the MCU. So I think this one definitely has some, some solid future potential. So, all right, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. I've got more videos over here. If you'd like to watch some of my other videos and the subscription button right here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.